Hello everyone, welcome to Olive Bird. Today we will be talking about the successful launch of ASAT or the anti-satellite missile by India. So we will be discussing everything about Mission Shakti that was taken up by DRDO. This forms a part of general awareness and current affairs for the upcoming exams like SBI, we have LIC, AAO, we have CWC, we have FCL. So it forms a part of all the major exams that uh, are coming up and we will be discussing what this ASAP is, how is it beneficial for India, what is the elite group and uh, how is it different from the other satellites etc. But before we start, do take up a free mock test by Olive Board by clicking on the link given to you in the description box. So this is a free mock test for any banking exam that you are preparing for. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest videos. So we'll start with the quick facts. So DRDO, which is Defense Research and Development Organization, is the organization that is behind the successful launch of ASAT, which is anti-satellite missile test and this mission is called Mission Shakti and this satellite was launched from the APJ Abdul Kalam Island in Odisha. So from this one sentence only you can have like a lot of questions being asked uh, that which was the organization behind the launch of ASAT or the name of the mission or what is anti-satellite all about or and where was it launched from. So this is a ballistic missile defense interceptor missile uh, that got engaged in an Indian orbiting and they targeted a satellite which was in the low earth orbit uh, around 300 kilometers above the surface level and it was a hit to kill mode. So when we say hit to kill mode means as soon as it hits the particular satellite it just kills it or destroys it. So this missile is a three stage missile with two solid rocket boosters and it has a lot of sensors that have confirmed that the mission met all the objectives and it was a successful mission. Also, this particular mission has demonstrated India's capabilities to defend all its assets in the outer space and with this India joins a select group of nations which is the elite group that also have such capabilities. We will be discussing more about, about that and this particular satellite is indigenously developed so we have not taken help from any other country. The whole system was developed indigenously. So we will start with what are anti-satellite weapons. So it uh, is a missile based system which attacks the moving satellites so, so we know that satellites do not stay at a particular place so they move from one place to another uh, in the outer space so for this India conducted this anti-satellite missile test which was under mission Shakti and has become the fourth country in the world to demonstrate the capability to shoot down satellites in the orbit orbit so whether it is low earth orbit or middle earth orbit we can destroy any of the satellites that is an enemy or can cause any harm to India. So, so far only three countries which are United States, China and Russia had this able, a, ability but now India has also joined this elite group and has become a part of this elite group. Also the satellite that was downed by the ASAT was Microsat R. Please remember this also, this is an imaging satellite that was destroyed. So when did India develop this capability? Uh, it has a long history since the year 2011 we were planning to develop something like this and this is a part of the ballistic missile defense program of the DRDO or the government. Now what makes ASAT different from the other ballistic missiles? So it is different in terms of the velocity. Uh, now velocity means the reaction time that it takes 
for the interception so when we talk about asat it is very very fast when compared to any other missile so as we know satellite moves from one place to another and roughly a satellite spends around 7 to 8 minutes over india so within this time frame we need to detect whether this satellite is causing any harm to us launch the asat reach the target and hit it so this is all about velocity and that is what makes asat different from the other satellites now how is this program different from the other programs so we have targeted an object which was in the outer space we just mentioned that it was 300 kilometers above the surface area but this has been developed by india to intercept incoming missiles that is to stop incoming missiles or any missile that wants to come and attack india so asat uh, was modified exo atmospheric interceptor missile that means exo atmospheric means atmosphere ke bahar or something which is outside the atmosphere and something that has not entered uh, the world as such so in the year 2011 itself a modified prithvi missile had mimicked the trajectory of a ballistic missile with a 600 km range also the radars at different locations pass on the information in real time basis to the interceptor which is an advanced air defense missile and this is what is asat all about also which region of the space was targeted as i already mentioned an indian satellite was shot down at the low earth orbit and uh, these satellites are roughly at an altitude of 2000 km so low earth orbit uh, stretches up to 2000 km and this is where majority of the satellites are concentrated and uh, we chose the 300 km target to minimize the debris so all the debris that were created because of the destruction because we destroyed uh, the particular satellite will last only for a few months so within few months all of these debris will get uh, disappeared also we should know why is asat significant for india so first thing first and foremost the reason behind us developing this anti satellite was to uh, have the capability to shoot down any enemy satellite in the orbit that can disrupt our critical communications and surveillance capability so anything that can cause a harm to india we want to shoot that down so this was the major reason why it is significant for india and also this missile acts as a space deterrent so it will obviously uh, sway away or move away any a uh, country satellite network from targeting india's satellite network so it will say sway away any satellite that wants to target india in particular along with this india has also become a part of the elite group in which we had only three countries that is the us uh, china and we have uh, Russia so these are the three countries that is a part of the elite group because they had developed such missiles well in advance during the cold war phase and we've joined this group now so these are all the significance of anti satellites that's all we have for you in this video i hope you like the video do share it with your friends because this forms a very important part of the current affairs this is a moment for us indians to be proud of and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel for more such videos thank you